thanks to the recent outbreak, or as I'm calling it, Xi Jinping's super spectacular oopsie daisies. People are still going out panic buying. Essentials like milk, eggs, and weirdly, flour are plucked clean from the shelves of grocery stores, leaving behind canned unwantables like fava beans. That's what I have to say. You guys have no idea what you're missing. We're gonna turn canned fava beans into the Egyptian dish faul. Okay, if you can't find fava beans at your local grocery store, head to a halal supermarket. If a halal grocery store is nowhere near you, <coughs> no need to worry because there's plenty available on Amazon as of making this video. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, to begin, add one 15 ounce can of fava beans to a medium sized pot. Now warm this up over medium high heat. Okay, our little pot of fava beans is getting nice and steamy. Turn off the heat and using a slotted spoon, transfer our beans from the pot to a separate bowl. Season them with half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Grab a potato masher and mash away. Okay, the mixture is looking a bit dry. Let's only, let's add some of our bean liquid. We don't want to add it all. Okay, this is the consistency we want. I know it's a bit on the chunky side, but you don't want to add all the bean liquid in. I'll explain why later. Next, add two cloves of garlic, crushed. A quarter teaspoon of cumin. And one and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is why I told you to not add all the bean liquid in. All right, mix it together with a spoon. All right, give it a taste test. A tad more lemon juice, a tad more salt, and a tad more cumin. Now transfer everything to a smaller bowl. Okay, now flatten it out and make a little well in the middle and drizzle in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, now this is your basic bowl of fowl. Heat up some pita bread and dig right in. But uh, let's turn it up a notch. Add some diced tomato, diced green onion, and a few slices of hard boiled egg. After all, this is a breakfast dish in Egypt. Warm up some pieces of pita bread and dig right in. Oh, and uh, if you can heat pieces of pita bread over a gas stove with your bare hands, you're true OG. There we go folks, you now know how to turn fava beans into fowl. And I made it all this way without making one Hannibal Lecter reference. Now nah, what the hell. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm, C I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload it every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon through this COVID-19 disaster. So there's no need to cry foul. You're on the subscribing, aren't you?